Hello, welcome back to Freddy in the Shed 2. Um, I hope you're all very well and healthy when you're watching this video, whenever that is, if it's now or in the future. Um, just a little video here, you know, nothing kind of too pre-arranged on Freddy in the Shed 2. As you know, things are a little bit more sort of laid back in how you're doing, if you like. But uh, on this video, we're going to look at this Dura tool here, this PCB holder, printed circuit board holder. Now, the idea is that when I've constructed this, it holds a circuit board if you're into doing sort of these soldering kits that I quite like doing every now and then, or if you're any hobby, any hobby really, where you need to sort of hold something um, secure and you might want to flip it onto the back side and onto the front side. I've been meaning to get one of these for some time. Um, you know, I've, I've looked at these on eBay, they're generally 10 or 12 pounds UK, something like that. And then this one came up on Amazon, and Amazon Prime for about seven pounds delivered, which I thought was a little bit of a bargain. So I'm hoping that uh, I've not been kind of caught out and it's all made of horrible plastic and everything. So anyway, I'm gonna put this together, not gonna do that on camera. And uh, so let me go do that, and then we'll have a look at it constructed. There we go, all done. Um, refreshingly easy to put together, just four screws now on the base. Um, product itself, it's, it's not bad actually. I mean, it's surprisingly quite a large amount of metal on the sort of clamp itself. This uh, this bar here that goes through the uh, middle is metal. Also, the the feet there are made out of sort of metal, and even the jaws there, they're uh, they're metal as well. Um, the sort of upright supports are plastic, of course. So the way this works, I mean, if you've never seen one of these, is that you get a printed circuit board or anything else really that you know that you might want to do on, on a hobby. And you just sort of slide that between the, the jaws there, like so. Tighten everything up. You've got little plastic sort of thumb screws both sides there. This is sort of sprung on this side, so that if you want to, you can apply just a little bit of tension there to stop the board coming out. And then there it is. It's nice and secure, and then you can sort of get your soldering iron there and able to sort of do the soldering on, I suppose mainly on sort of through hole kind of soldering. And then the idea is, is you can sort of rotate it round the back and round the front as you like, and everything should be sort of nice and secure and in place. The device itself, I measured it, you can expand it. It will take a maximum of about a 20 centimeter board or object in the jaws. Um, after that, it's too far sort of towards the edges. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So I've got this little kit, if this works, and you never know, do you, with these Chinese kits, bad components and things. I've had it's a bit hit or miss. Most of them work, but I've had a few sort of failures. But if this works, this will be featured probably on a Fred in the Shed 1 video in the future when I get, I'm not gonna do this all in one day. Got too many sort of things to do today. So there you go, that's what it is. Uh, one question I wanna ask for people that sort of do these solder kits, when you push the components through the board, what I tend to do is I get the sort of like little legs, if you like, and I sort of spread them apart on the other side of the board. Then I get the soldering iron and just sort of solder them on. Now someone said when I did the Christmas video and I made that little Christmas tree, if you saw that, someone said that if by pulling the legs apart, when you um, sort of apply the heat to melt the solder, that, that can sort of cause a kind of a, um, a shock, if you like, a sort of, uh, a, 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 you know, a dramatic temperature change to the sort of component. And by sort of putting the sort of, by spreading the legs apart, if you like, that sounds a bit rude. <laughs> I'll get a few comments for that. But by spreading the sort of prongs apart, and you can sort of put stress on the component component when you solder it, and uh, that can cause issues. So, you know, how do you do it? I mean, just leave a, leave a comment down below, let me know. I know some people push a component through on the board and put a little bit of sort of masking tape and sort of hold it, but how do you hold the uh, component on the board without having to spread the prongs apart? I won't say legs, it sounds rude. But uh, yeah, let me know, um, because I'm probably doing it wrong, like most things that I, I do on this channel. And, uh, but there you go, so as I say, back to, the, back to the thing itself, I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest. You know, seven pounds, um, absolutely no sort of complaints, just make, gonna make the whole thing a lot easier, a lot more comfortable than trying sort of working on the deck as well. So there you go. That's it, what was it called? I forget now, a Duro tool. There's the box, a Duro tool PCB holder from Amazon, at currently at about seven pounds delivered. That's on Prime, you need a Prime account. Um, but on eBay, you know, I've generally seen these for 10 or 12 pounds delivered. You might even get it cheaper than that. I will leave a link in the description for anyone that's uh, interested. And uh, yeah, I'll let you know how I get on. We'll keep an eye out for this video when it comes up and then I'll do an update on the sort of holder and let you know how it sort of works out. But as for now, 
as always thanks for your views i don't get a lot of views on here you know less than 100 views at the moment on the video so i really really do appreciate your time cheers thanks for that that really does come from the heart thank you um, if you enjoy my videos give them a the thumbs up again that really helps me i don't get a lot of views on here and i do get the, the people that regularly thumb the video down without even bloody watching it i get more thumbs down you know when i load it up and in the time it would take them to watch the video so i know they're not watching it so please you know if you can give me a thumbs up and that balances the haters that just seem to get a bit of pleasure out of doing that but so uh, anyway as for now as always take care of yourselves look after yourselves enjoy the sunshine because it's really nice here today cheers look after yourself take care and uh, of course i'll catch you all on the next one